yo what is up guys welcome back to another video and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to download and use razor cortex which is razor's own um, system performance booster so let's go ahead and get started so the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and head to the first link in the description and head to this website which is razor.com slash cortex which is razor's official website and over here you might see the screen and as you can see we have a download button so just go ahead and click on that and that should start downloading the installer and once it is done downloading just double click on the file and over here just click on yes and the installer should now launch so as you can see we have the Razer gaming software installer and we have all of these Razer softwares so right now we just have to download Cortex so just tick just check this one and then click on install down here and just click on skip and continue and now it should start installing Cortex so just wait for this to install all right so once it is installed you will see this screen and over here just check on the first option which is launch razor cortex and then click on get started and once razor cortex is open you should see the login screen and i'm just going to be using google to log in but you can make a new account you can even continue as a guest and you could even use twitch or facebook so i'm just going to log in real quick all right so once you are done logging in or creating your account you should see uh, the main screen and over here the first window is the launcher and we need to go ahead and click on the second tab right here which is game booster so click on that and over here as you can see these are the settings which will be optimized when your game launches so over here I would suggest that in the first in the first tab you can select these these settings the ones which I have enabled so under the second tab the processes tab uh, just select all the options that do not contain exe or windows or windows services because these are most likely system files and if you suspend those you might encounter some errors so i would suggest just selecting um applications like mcfee or your antivirus and spotify any browsers that you might have obs and spotify but do not select obs if you are streaming or recording because it might suspend the application while you're recording and also go ahead and select auto boost over here on top because this will automatically boost the system every time you launch a game and it will automatically apply these optimizations and you can also boost now if you like but I would suggest that you click that you select auto boost so it automatically optimizes the system every time a game is launched next we have the services tab and over here as well I would suggest that you <clears throat> only check on these settings which I have enabled and last but not least we have the non windows services if you want you can actually select all of these I only have a few enabled 
you can select all of these if you want because they are non-windows services and even if they get suspended they might not they most probably will not cause any problem to your system and now we will head to the next tab which is system booster and over here uh, in the first tab which is system clean we need to go ahead and click on scan and once you click on scan it should start scanning your system for junk files and as you can see I have about 5.78 GB of junk files and over here you can even go ahead and see what files they are talking about so it's mainly just temporary files downloaded installations etc so I'm just gonna uncheck that you can even check and uncheck um, what you want to delete so I'm just gonna uncheck on this and except for that I'm gonna clean up everything else so once you're done selecting whatever you want just click on clean and now it should start deleting the files and as you can see it got rid of 2.64 GB I'm not really sure what happened to the rest of the files uh, it's most likely that they are being they're still being used by the applications so they did not get erased and once you are done with this go to the second tab which is speed up and over here you might see it should appear like this for you and it should say 63 items optimized it could be more it could be less for you but these are the best settings that you could use for gaming on your PC and all of these are really safe to apply and this will boost your performance drastically so I really recommend that you enable these so click on select all over here and then just click on the optimize button and this should start applying all of these settings and yeah so all these settings have now been applied and all you need to do now is close the Cortex application and just restart your computer to apply all these settings. Once you are done restarting your PC, you should notice a, a drastic or a slight FPS boost at least because these settings are pretty helpful and uh, they might not work for everyone but it will work for most people on low to medium end systems and it could help you get a little bit extra FPS if you are on a really high end PC so if you guys like this video make sure to drop a like and subscribe and share this video with your friends to help them out and that's all for today and I'll see you guys next time till then peace